each other. And then it also solidified Alpha and Bravo to face off against each other. As you see it, the finals are here. Team Delta will be playing Team Alpha for $100,000. Second place walking away with 75000 Still a victory in my book, but it's not first place. And then, of course, we have the losers finals down at the bottom. Team Charlie versus Team Bravo. It's going to be an absolute stunning finale. Yeah finish it all off guys make sure you guys are tweeting this out let us know who are you supporting in chat it's almost poetic that tp makes it to finals being a legend <laughs> that he is in the call of duty scene it's true right it's been a little bit of time since uh, you know tp has been in a grand final but boy has he had a, a great history when it comes down to these right we talked about a 16 time call of duty champion a world champion at that so many incredible runs throughout his competitive history but now he has the opportunity to lead a group of fantastic players into what could be another awesome opportunity, right? The ability to win $100,000 would just be unbelievable. And I got to say, from a you know competitive fan, as someone who's followed it for a very long time, I'm definitely looking at someone like TP to really kind of be one of the main guys here for the Alpha lineup. You're also looking at maybe Vivid, uh, obviously, to kind of help lead the charge. He's obviously has a lot of competitive experience in his own regard as well. But for Team Delta, in regards to this grand final, the story has been cemented, right? It has been somewhat decided. Ace yeah. is the man. I mean, quite literally, He's disgusting. no question about it. Ace has been looking like the best player in this tournament. No question about it. And so my big thing is not what Team Alpha is going to do, but how do they handle someone like Ace? Ace, who has been playing up to probably the best standards that we have seen from anybody. And so, like we said, I, my big thing is, like, what does Ace do? How does he keep playing? Can he keep being that consistent piece for Delta? If so, that very well could be their opportunity and their ticket to 100K. Ace is literally the ticket to 100K. He has to perform well. We've talked about it time and time again. He even said it on stream at one point whenever we were watching his perspective. I don't know where I'm going, right? He, he doesn't necessarily <laughs> know the maps. But you guess you really don't need that, especially yeah. whenever you're playing as, as good as he is. I mean, we talk about it. He is literally slaying out uh, so impressively. Yeah. More impressive than I ever expected. Any I knew he was going to be strong going to this tournament. He oh, was yeah, my sure. wild card. That's why I was going with Delta. But regardless, though, I got to say, man, Ace has been playing well. But let's not forget Symphony, right? The IGL for the team. He's bringing the hype. He's bringing the comfortability. He's allowing his players to play flex roles or just play the roles that they're all, in general, just comfortable with. This is going to be a great matchup, to say the least. You saw the maps. You saw the game types. It's been the same all night. It's going to be an absolute amazing final, to say the least. Our match is about to get started, though. I'm excited. Grand final's about to be underway. But uh, capture the flag on Crash. Delta versus Alpha. Talk to me about it. I mean, like I said, man, when it comes down to this map, we've actually seen it before. And in fact, between both of these teams in their round three round robin game in that particular series in that round three game, we actually saw this one on Crash actually go two to zero in favor of the boys on Delta. So this map isn't unfamiliar. This mode isn't unfamiliar. Like I said, they've played it previously, and that could be an advantage or that could be a disadvantage depending on the way that you look at it. Maybe for Alpha, you're going back to the drawing board saying, hey, we're used to, or rather we expected what happened. That's when that insane clutch really began for Ace. He was looking at the enemy spawn. He got six, seven, eight players in a row and all in the Elam feed. Can he do it again? What will be the difference maker? And how can Alpha start off this finals? After coming off of a loss previously, how do the strategies begin to change up? And like you said, Taylor, here we are, our finals for the streamer invitational. I can wow. feel the intensity. Yep. $175,000 is about to be given away between these two teams. And Ace on your screen. He's not phased at all by the fact that it was Grand Finals. He starts off picking up two players on Alpha, eventually getting dropped in the end. You see the kill feed, though. It's going to light up a lot of red. That means Alpha was slain out considerably well. Now we're going to not even mention that Vivid did take out Ava, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, no flags for grabs, so no harm, no foul. Should just go ahead and respawn up and be able to join the team. Look at how pushed up, though, the red team is. Look at how pushed up Alpha is all over the flag of Delta. Delta's got to be careful here. They definitely want to try to handle their cards correctly. And here comes the smoke along with the excess smoke. That's going to be TP trying to toss that one to the back of their spawn. That's a great elimination found. However, still players from Delta existing inside of blue. That's actually going to be Ace. 
Probably the one player that you do not want to have behind enemy lines. Trying to take out Ava over at Refrigerators. As Ace gets taken down, Ava's still alive, however. But I like this play, right? They're slowly making their way into the enemy's base. Vader takes down Kevin. And Symphony is pretty much just trying to plug every single hole possible. Ace is back on the map, folks. That's when things can start to get scary. Could this be the time where Alpha pushes into the base, or will Delta hold on strong enough? It looks as if up to this point, Delta has held strong, but look at that in the bottom left. One player from Alpha still is hanging out, and it's the captain. It's good old TP. TP can make a lot of magic happen. He's looking to do so just now, getting very aggressive, head full of steam. He pushes for the flag. Unfortunately, he does get touched, but he gets dropped oh. in the end. Kevin, though, holding his own, doing a great job. Ava on his side as well. She's going to get the touch that TP wasn't able to capitalize on. She gets drops in the end. I got to say, Alpha, great positioning. But Delta, even better defense. Yeah, that's for sure. That's a, that's a great way to put it. A solid push and a, one that you're confident in if you're Alpha. It's great to see them playing as aggressive as they are off the rip. But Delta, they handled it well. They made sure they constantly had layers. They dealt with the 1v1s that they needed to, and they're able to push out the lanes. But that just goes to show the pretty much solid performance that both of these rosters can put up. Just the talent that exists in either of these teams is fantastic. And that was clearly shown by just great offense, but we're just chilling. even better defense. And TP, great call out. Hey, we're just hanging out. We're just chilling. You know what? That's a lot for them to make the mistakes and then begin to capitalize on it. Here come the push from Delta. Oh, I didn't understand. Yeah, he's still there. He's still there. Back alley. I actually want to go ahead and take this moment to just listen in. I want to hear what TP and Co. has to say. Let's right, do a short little listen in uh, and see how they're communicating. Alley, alley. Loop, dead. Something they're building. Really weak. Three dead. Uh, dead. Front blue, front blue. Two at blue, one's their top building. They might try to try and start working towards top three. Really dead, really dead. Uh, blue, base is going to three. Probably in three already. They try to push two. He's dead. They kill, they kill. Overall, sounded good. They're talking back and forth. I'm liking what I'm hearing, Landon. Yeah, I, I, I think so, too. And there, w one thing that I've kind of noticed as well is that they're also spe specifically calling out what players are making it through their base, which players they need to look out for. Hey, where is this guy at? Is he in the back of our base? Those are things that you really want to make sure are communicated, especially when it comes down to a CTF game like this one where no captures have been found, where nobody has really made it all that far with the flag itself. Oh, wait. I thought that was you. Oh, in the corner. In the corner. In the corner. Ava actually finds two. Garrett. Dude. Sitting atop Barbershop. Can she make the play? I'm not sure if she got targeted or maybe even taken out as of yet. At least she makes a decent dent. TP dropping Symphony. Can they get away with the flag is the question. You see all of the arrows coming in from Delta. Very scattered. However, defense yet again reigns true. Recovery does come through, but still the pressure is going to be there. Ava once again playing like a superstar, pushing forward. The flag has been grabbed, and it continues to go away. I believe the main defender to maybe get that return does go down. Now Symphony making a mad dash to try and get the return, but I think it's going to be all in vain. Ava, she is there. She is ready to go, and she makes the first capture in the last 10 seconds of round one. She's got a cruise, and she's got a VTOL as well to work with when it comes down to the second half. That's going to be massive for them, especially when it comes down to defensive pushes. But well-deserved. The hype. <laughs> I love to see it. And like we said, that's what it took. That was a solid four minutes of Team Alpha just pushing time and time and time again into Team Delta's base. And Ava, the one who's pretty much just hiding out using fantastic trigger discipline is the one that makes the biggest difference. She shuts down a majority of the Delta players and allows for that flag capture to be set up. Perfect, perfect play and all that you can ask for versus a very talented team like Delta. Now Delta, what are they going to do to respond back? A starts us off with a nice two-piece. Looks like on Ava as well as Kevin as well. We'll see. If he'll be able to continue pushing forward, Ava, though, constantly getting wiped. Now I'm starting to get a little bit worried. Right now we see Delta really starting to come into their own. Streaks are going to come out. Now it's a question, though. If that flag does get touched, does the VTOL come out? 
That's a good point. Strook's coming in from Ace. They really want to try and get a flag capture out with this. Because by using streaks, I mean, what's really the the main difference maker? So, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of that streak usage in the situation. You look at where the Team Delta players are at. There was only really one player who could make a difference by those streaks being in play. So, I don't know. I think in that moment, you hold on to him for a little bit longer. Maybe as he's pushed up and can utilize those streaks to find an elim. He's also there to quickly kind of provide an exclamation point onto what those streaks could have. But in the end, it kind of acts as a waste because nothing really gets gained. A little bit of bad positioning, but you don't really take that for granted all that much. Ace, despite that, though, comes through, finds the first two. TP ends up getting dropped as well. This could be Team Delta, right? They've got three players right around the base. This could be their opportunity. Hutch wanting to make this defensive stand possible. That's going to be Vivid, who actually takes down two. That looks to be a successful hold as Stoda is backed up toward Tree. And it will, in fact, be that Alpha reigning true. But like we said, this is what it comes down to on Crash. Both these teams highly competitive. Very, very solid as Ava try to get away with the flag. Vivid does see Garrett just around the corner and actually does get dropped. A big one to find, especially in the mid-half, as that's going to be Ace who actually has it in his hands. Can't do much with it. Here comes the utility. And here comes the push. A lot invested here for Delta. Swarming the flag is going to be Delta. Let's see if they can capitalize. They keep losing players left and right, and that's going to be because of Hutch in the background picking up a couple of crucial elims. A great stop, right, because Delta was so advanced forward. They get a couple of elims. They get the flag. They tie this up. Now, still in the driver's seat is, in fact, Team Alpha. We'll get on board with Ace to be able to watch his perspective. The player, the wild card, if you will, for this tournament, who's oh, played so well. And I think that was Ava trying to run the flag, not able to do so. And are you kidding me? He just lasered his another player. Ace making it look simple. I promise if you go home and try to do that yourself or just try to whip up your own Modern Warfare game. It doesn't work as easily as he's showing wow. it to be right now. That's at least four. Streaks are in the skies, and he's lighting up everybody. He's going to try to go for the flag. Initiates, but unfortunately cannot stay alive. The Dead Silence perk could have allowed for him to get around that corner and really do some damage. Unfortunately, he cannot do that. Symphony, you notice, in the corner, calling in his own streaks. Minute and 30 on the clock. Delta, they have to get a capture or this one is done. It's absolutely right. Grand finals for you to be losing. The first round definitely hurts, but watch out. Coming alive is going to be the team of Delta. Ace finally getting that player in back. The flag is being ran, I do believe. It's going down the way. Is it going to be recovered, or will we see the score line tie up 1-1? You hear the call coming in from Symphonies just... Trying to watch every single angle. It looks as if that flag, in fact, was returned. A little bit of progression, but not enough to really scare the boys on Alpha. 55 seconds left in this game. Can Alpha hold on? Or can Delta manage to tie this one up and let us see some overtime? And that is fantastic, especially at this point in the game. That might have been the team fight yeah. that decides it all right there. Yeah, However, there. Symphony is still behind enemy lines. Got does him, the nade take him out? The nade does! <laughs> Vivid tosses out the nade in Garage and actually takes it a fellow counterpart in Symphony. Greeted each other all too many times and it comes into other titles and here as well in Modern Warfare. It's starting to get crazy. It's starting to get interesting. Here comes the push with 20 seconds left. Can they get it out? It's still sitting there. It's on flag. They need to recover it though. It's just off the at least to spawn for that flag. The final push needs to come through. 10 seconds on the cusp of winning game one here in the grand finals is Alpha. And Vivid, I think, was a huge catalyst to holding back Team Delta. And there it is. The scoreline, a measly 1-0. But that's a W in their book. CTF crash has been solidified. Alpha, they're going to take a 1-0 lead in grand finals. That is massive for Team Alpha, considering that we just saw this exact wow, same fast. match between these exact same teams just around an hour ago. And in that game, Team Delta ended up winning it 2-0. to zero. This time around, it was Team Alpha in the first half due to a sneaky and so well-thought-out play from Ava. They managed to grab the flag and just threw a number of different cutoffs, just threw a number of different 
really plays and yep. positioning changes. The one flag makes all the difference here on Crash, and that's what we expect, right? When it comes down to our grand finals, when it comes down to these two teams, this is what we expect between a rematch, between all the storylines that we can ever really ask for between Delta and Alpha. My, my goodness. It is uh, already starting off very it, well. It, it's awesome that Ava came through like that. I love that. Ava clutched up so many times. And mind yeah. you, the last 10 seconds, the last 10 seconds of round number one in that CTF on Crash, Ava managed to get that capture, yeah. and she was the hero. You saw her jumping out of her chair literally as we were on her perspective, and what a beautiful moment. You got to be thinking to yourself, right? You were the main catalyst as to why you took over game number one. You move in the search and destroy on Hackney Yard, and you got to be thinking to yourself, we're up 1-0. If we win search and destroy on Hackney Yard, we just won $100,000. Yeah. I mean, literally, that could be a $25,000 flag capture, which is crazy to think about. The moment where the intensity is going and the juices are flowing, she gets it done, and pretty much from there on out, we saw some great progression. We saw some really good moments from Delta, but none of it was really as solid as necessary. I think there was a yeah. moment when we saw a few streaks actually get called in from Ace, and yeah, not too uncommon to see him have those streaks, but I feel like they weren't the like utilized to the best of their ability. I think there was a few moments where they maybe should have played more together as a roster, maybe more together as a unit, just because when you talk about the way that Alpha was playing, they played in layers, right? Crash is a map where there's a lot of different places, a lot of different buildings to hide in, especially when you talk about those bases, barbershop, electronic shop, etc., even right. garage. There's a lot of different areas for them to kind of lean back in and just kind of hang out. Hutch dedicated himself to playing the anchor role here for CTF. He was hanging in the back of the map the entirety of the time, and I feel like those streaks weren't efficient enough to take them out all in a wave because you couldn't really take out this team three, four down. It had to be collectively not just one by one by one. And so I feel like that was kind of the big difference for them, the reason why they didn't really manage to get a capture at the same way that we saw Team Alpha do. Because for Team Alpha, it was a sequence of Ava coming through, making a clutch, sure. and then all the players were there to kind of help siphon that flag along. I feel like for Delta, we never really saw that, mo that, that moment kind of come through for them. And you also had to think, too, Delta had to use their score streaks appropriately because they had to counter the VTOL yeah, from Ava, right? That's so true. That was one of their streaks wasted, one of their streaks yeah. that they earned, right? So... With that being said, a lot of allocation had to come through. Now, Landon, let's set the stage. Search and Destroy, Hackney Yard between these two. We've seen them play Search and Destroy between them. I believe the last time Delta and Alpha met up, it was, in fact, a 6-3 victory for the people on Delta. Now, we move into Hackney Yard. What could we expect? Yeah, I think really when it comes down to it, <laughs> There's a lot to kind of be looking out for between both of these teams. I think in particular, you know, just players in particular, I think you're looking at someone like Symphony and Ace from Team Delta. I think from Alpha, it has to be Teep. And I feel like it also has to be Vivid. Kind of these two dynamic duos have been the overall difference maker. When it comes down to Hackney Yard, it kind of is somewhat one-sided, if you will. When you're talking about bomb sites, you're probably going to be seeing a lot of plays be made when it comes down to Warehouse. How do you kind of maneuver throughout what is going to be kind of a known common strategy? Yes. How do you try to counter with playing a little bit different? And one thing that I actually remember back whenever TP used to play in the old days of Call of Duty Competitive <laughs> uh, were the interesting strategies that his team would utilize, especially during kind of their dynasty runs, which were kind of in-game mind games. They tried to mess with yep. the teams. They tried to really kind of change things up early on to the point where the enemy never really knew what to expect. And so I'm hoping to see maybe that same kind of strategy come through for Team Alpha and how does Team Delta deal with that? The potential $25,000 last round is coming underway. Here we move into Search and Destroy on Hackney Yard. Delta versus Alpha. Currently Alpha in the driver's seat with a 1-0 lead in this best of three. They take this over. They just won themselves $100,000. So much pressure, but you got to shake that off. You got to play to the best of your abilities. We'll go ahead and start off with our traditional man of Ace, right? The guy who slays out, and what a better play to start off with, with him taking out Hutch. A couple players just to his left. Let's see what other damage he can cause. They're just pretty much utilizing him as a little bit of a turret, right? I mean, the situation... Let him go to work. TP unfortunately finds himself over at top AC as he will fall. Vader now left in a one versus five and a quick little snap for the folks at home. Is that is going to be Team Alpha? Yeah, Team, team, Delta, team Delta. Yeah. Excuse me, walking away with that first round and just great kind of composure, great situation for them. 
to lock that one up the way they did. I don't think they lost a single player no. there. I, th I think all five were still up at the very end. Absolute insanity to be starting that way off. And a great way to start off, though, right? Because you know you have to force a game three if you're on the side of Team Delta. A lot of impressive things, right? Symphony currently sitting at 2-0. Mon sitting at 1-0 on the ace. 2-0 himself. Like you said, they didn't lose a single player. Now, going into round number two, TP finds a player, tries to take him out, gets a lot of great hit markers, but wasn't able to get the finish. TP still going off. Team Delta currently two players up. It's going to be a 4v2 situation. A bomb has been planted. Jobless Garrett and Symphony now has, in fact... Been put to the test to kind of clutch up Jobless. Just stay alive. Are you kidding me? But eventually finished off Symphony in a 1v4. Oh. Not a lot he could do there. He does get a tray, but it's not enough. We're tied up 1-1. One, one. We are indeed, man. Back and forth. This is what you want to see out of a grand final like this where intensity is at its highest. Hutch coming through with the final kill on bottom L's. Great to see that one happen. Like we said, we apologize for the in-game caster being a little bit off. However, we are putting up an overlay to try to Make that one a little bit more manageable, so we do apologize for that. Regardless, though, 1-1 one, one between both of these teams. And we'll see what maybe the strategy is when it comes down to this next one. Garrett carrying the objective for Delta. Hutch on the other end. He's played so well. It's kind of a statue AR for this team. And looking to maybe do more of the same up in the top L's. They have B building. They have B building. Yeah, that's going to be vivid. Give them the call saying, hey, they actually went toward offices, a.k.a. B. A very uncommon strategy to be utilized off the rip, but I love that from Delta to change things up, like much like how I mentioned wow. TP and the boys used to do in, back in the day. Goes with an MP5 from that distance. That's bomb. Ace continues to Where? slay out. Uh, inside in. Hutch, though, great callouts being green. given. It's going to be a 2v3. They still need to clutch up. That's going to be a lucky angle. Mid, I think. Go ahead and take out Stutta from the back. Top green, top green, Ace, Ace still. This top green is going to be the call out. TP is going to find oh, Ace. Okay. Ace still manages to get a couple of hit markers on him. Now it's going to be brought window, down window, to window, a 2v1. Window. You hear the call out. It's going to be a window. I think you do. In fact, see oh. Symphony up top who he's got, he's got, comes he's through. He's TP he's goes down. Yeah. Ava yeah. knows exactly where Symphony's at. Now it's just a cat and mouse game. It's a waiting like game. As she's go ahead, ready. dips oh, out. Symphony on the attack. He's being vicious. He's getting tags. Ava in the corner. We've seen her pick up two pieces in the past. That, that's Such that's a clutch that's moment. That's Let's see if she can do it. Move on, you have this up. A huge round. Ava actually right utilizing now. dead silence. Is he on the bomb? He is. Can she win? Only getting hit markers. But if you're Ava, you're on the defensive end, so you can kind of work this out to your advantage. Teep trying to provide some help, some assistance, some excess commentary. Now he's going to try and plant bomb and just wait for you to peek. Love that call from the captain. Don't Ava. Peek, let him plant. Okay, there you go. On the bomb. Needs a challenge. Where did he go, though? He's going to be on the van. Could be just off to the side. TP trying to help communicate this one to Ava. And you see that Symphony on the left, Ava on the right. Symphony trying to back up and. Pretty much protect the bomb that he laid down just a few moments ago. Does spot out Ava. She's actually hopping on the defuse. Is Symphony going to get there in time? Looks as if she oh, hops off. Oh, nope. Symphony. Where is he? Where is he? Right Can he win it? And Ava locks it up. In the clutch moment, she has been perfect. Over at CTF and here in Search to Destroy. She takes it over the team captain of Symphony. As that will be Alpha leading this one two rounds to one. And a clutch, clutch play. Ice on the side of Ava. Let's go. We said it earlier in that CTF. Ava capturing that flag. Was that a $25,000 flag cap? Was that a $25,000 clutch from Ava? The same storyline. Alpha leads the way 2-1. to one. Hutch, he's going to be our bomb carrier. They're in Alpha uncontested. They made a quick break. If they get this bomb down, There's now you're going to see here. Delta pushing through. There's nobody here. Now you got to be thinking about your flank, though. I'm getting that bomb down. That's exactly what they're doing. Bomb's going to get planted. All five players on both teams still up. Let's see if Alpha can defend this properly. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Delta not really putting a crazy amount of forces toward by far the preferred site, at least so far throughout the tournament. Vivid comes through and grabs two influential Elims. Started with that sniper rifle, looking over two versus five. A lot of work to be done, and Stoda, good luck, buddy. Sniper rifle out, and not going to see any highlights there. 
is that is going to be Alpha going up three rounds to one. Starting to take off, Landon. They are. And that's a scary sight for Delta at this moment. You have to win this next round. This is, by definition, the swing round. And you guys take A and one person go B. 3A, 1B, I'm mid. 3A, 1B, TP mid. Are I'm not gonna play talking silence about dead silence as well. Where are we going? Where are we going? You guys have dead silence. You could rush A if you do. I do. I don't. Maybe a rush onto A as well. Uh, no, no, just a lot of things uh, still to be called out. A lot of things bomb, to be bomb. done here. Uh, we get We'll go ahead and see how it's going to play out. Jobless Garrett spots a player up top, doesn't get the Elim, but oh, actually a nade comes through. Oh, it's no. going to be a team Elim onto the side of, I believe, the guys on Alpha. There's a guy watching it. There's a guy watching it. Then on Mike brings it to a 4v3. And this is a big round for Delta. They need this. One's, one's top of A. They do. Garrett. One staircase A. Giving the call out and someone. Staircase A. He watched A. He watched A. He watched A. Sitting in L stairs. Bums on B. Bums on B. Bums on B. There goes Bums Ava. Bums on B. Bums on B. A three versus two in a situation, like we said, is essential for Delta to lock up. And now it turns into a one versus two. TP and Vivid. The dynamic duo. The FPS crossover. Seeming to work out very, very well. And now the pressure is put on the Garrett. Can he win it? No. Not able to do so as that will be four rounds to one. That's a huge loss, Landon. And a big 1v1 where the captain comes up clutch. Tyler Teep takes it for the team. Alpha. Two oh, rounds right. away yeah. from securing do do first it, place in grand down. finals at one hundred thousand dollars. They look unstoppable. Again, there is nothing that Delta again. has been able to throw their way to slow them down. I love this. This is like Coach T. Literally, I can see it in his eyes. I hear it in his voice, commanding the troops. He's focused. He is. I hit him with an eight. I'm weak. I'm weak. Stand down. Forced to back up. He's standing down. Right. He's weak from that nade. Ava's pushed up. Dropping it now. Streak's coming through. Even if it doesn't get an Elam right, he's going to give a ton of information. And here we go, dropping it down. Will it be able to connect? No, it will not, but that gave all the information they needed. Hutch blows up a vehicle, takes Ace out. Now it's going to be down to a 3v4. Let's see if he happened to play this properly. Worried about his flank. Maybe somebody's going to be coming around. He's all by himself. He picked up a 1v5 in his last round, or last game, rather, against Aiden squad. Can he pick up this 1v4? Well, that's a good start. Bringing it down to a 1v3. Stuns come out. He gets a nice tag down low. Plant going down. He gets one, but not able to get the second. Eventually, he's going to drop and go down Stada with a good clutch up play. But, man, TP, being the legend that he is, still made it close. Man, messed up my missile. My fault. That's, that was scary right there. That was scary in a round where you're up four players to one. Oh, and Stoda just right, we doing blue van again? Just don't nearly got out of that from. stun, managed to turn around and takes down Teep. <laughs> a big one to find. And no surprise, Teep leading the way. 11 Elims for his roster. And really even leading the entire lobby by far. As we'll head into our next round, Team Alpha, can they get to tournament point? Or can Delta start their resurgence? It's that swing round. We're looking at Ace for good reason. He's been the difference maker. Players starting to pop in the perspective. They made their push over at B, somewhat uncommon, but common for these folk. Ava Ooh. actually stays alive on the crate and takes him down. That is a big one for her to find, considering the way that Ace has looked so far throughout the event, considered to be the MVP. Well, Ava has absolutely been the clutch master. Instead of bottom offices, she'll fall to Symphony. The captain hanging on. Two versus two. TP. On that jump up, that would have been a deadly push. Team would have been ready. Three story, whatever that is. He's top, top. Aiming down sides. He is so ready to clutch this up. Symphony, though, on the other side. Looking to find every single angle that he possibly can. You see both of the players just in front of him. That's going to be Teep as well as Hutch. He's got time as well. Teep, just to his left. Oh, it's going to be such a deadly angle if he cho chooses to push out. Teep, right down low and catches him off guard. Takes him out. Landed. We are on match point series point for grand finals. 
TP and Co. for Team Alpha. This could potentially be a $100,000 round. This is it. Rubbing oh. the hands. <laughs> hands are warmed up. Oh. Right here. These rounds are working for us. Let's get it. The intensity is there. We could do, um... Is this it? We could go for B and then use, those, use that missile. For Team Alpha, missile the eight? collective yeah. okay. communication no? coming uh, in from some of Call of Duty's greats. I'm going to get in the yeah, bottom green. Veterans. Close. Everyone just hang out. Don't die. Uniting for what could be their championship for their title. Five rounds to two. Do they get it done? You want to pop it? You want to pop uh, it? Okay. Here on Hackney. Like missile and then we work towards B. Right, TP call issuing the callouts. Thank you, sure everybody. He's good to go for this. Top green, top green. One top green. Here come the streaks. This could be big. Trying to target. Symphony ends up finding the first. Vivid, however, takes down Lord Kevin. There goes Jobless Garrett. Four versus three. Dead Silence is available for TP. Could make the play. Another A, I think. 4v3 taking his time. He knows there's going to be players around there. Aver calls out a player. Was, in fact, weak. That evens out the odds. Symphony still up. Team captain versus team captain potential. You gotta get the other picks. Oh no. And another pick does go He's down. Stada's like gonna get bomb. dropped. Vader manages to like pick up an Elim. That guy, brings it to a 3v2. You can I'm literally gonna, cut the tension go ahead, go with a knife. Let's trade this guy out. Let's go. I'm going. Oh, here he goes. This is the play. Making the win at top offices. They're gonna try to siphon these players out. Ace in the corner. T versus Ace and he can't win it! He can't win it, but Vader is there! And they've done it! They have done it! Team Alpha close out map two on Hackney Yard versus Delta, and Vader comes through in the 1v1 and silences the final boss of Ace. $100,000 richer. Massive. Congratulations to TP, Vivid, Vader, Hutch, and Ava. Oh my word. $100,000 was just given away to the team of Alpha. We saw them in the round robin. Yeah, seriously. Hats off to them. They played so incredibly well. It's so good to see TP finally at the top once again. He hasn't been at least uh, in the championship circle. For competitive, for, right, yeah. You know, for competitive, for, for at least a little bit now, for competitive. Now, I know his storied history, but $100,000 for just about four hours of play. An amazing, amazing night overall. But let's give it to Team Delta, though, Absolutely. who played so incredibly Absolutely. well all the way through. They earned themselves $75,000, and what a round. I got to give my hat off, though, to at least the MVP on Team Delta, the man of ace. He played so incredibly well. He came through. He surprised us so many times. His aim, absolutely insane. And I got to say, he was the main reason why that team did so incredibly well for so many rounds. Yeah, that's, that's without question. I mean, ace literally was the difference maker for Team Delta. He was the reason why they got to this point in the first place. You have to give a huge, huge congratulations to him, along with the other players from Team Delta. Like you said, Symphony, Stoda, Kevin, Jobless Garrett, all of these guys, all these players, rather, played their hearts out, and you got to give them all the credit in the world for, for making it to this point and finishing second. It's, you know... It, it's not as if it's like, oh, they play second. No, that is a huge accomplishment, and you got to give them props for it, but... Like I said, for Team Alpha, through and through, despite them losing in what was round three of our round robin, actually to this exact team of Team Delta in a 2-0, mind you. They come out clutch, and you could just feel the, the tension. But for me, it really kind of came down to the clutches from Ava. Yep, Those yep. are really the difference makers, I think, when it came down Huge. to Crash. The one flag pull that they're able to make is through her. The big 1v1 sh that she has, I think, is in round three that made a lot of the difference. So you really got to give a lot of props to Ava, who came up hugely, hugely clutch when it came down to this finals. Ice in her veins. $100,000 richer is Alpha. Alpha, $100,000. Delta at $75,000. But you see third and fourth with 